You are ready to use. Pull off red safety guard. These days, it seems everything can talk back to you. But this little gadget can actually save someone's life. For five seconds. If your child has an allergy, it may be a good idea to pack one of these little devices in their backpack. The, the as you know, the most classic one is the EpiPen, and basically it's pretty, pretty easy to use. You basically take off the end and stab it into the back of somebody's leg here and go right through the pants. Everything is pretty clear. This year, hundreds of thousands of children across Canada with allergies to nuts and other foods are heading back to class. Generally speaking, it, you know, it is important um, and schools are really, you know, wary of that and you'll see some that won't allow peanut products because of the high, high amount of people that have peanut allergies. But generally speaking, you know, not putting kids to treat them any differently, but just making sure they're protected the best you can. And that means making sure teachers and even your child's classmates are aware of how to administer epinephrine should your child go into anaphylactic shock in class. Well, I think, you know, parents especially, if allergies are really severe, uh, so much that you have to have an EpiPen or even one of the newer units that we have, which is called an Allerject, which is a, uh, an injection device that actually talks to, your, talks to you and reminds you how to use, the prop use it properly. It will talk you through the process. When you take off the lid, it says, here's how you do it. Put it against your leg, press the button, and it all does it for you. To inject, place black end against outer thigh, then press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You want to make sure that you have one at the school and you inform the teacher of your, of your child's allergies. And if something does happen, they have it accessible. So sometimes people have one EpiPen or Allerject. It's sometimes important to have two or three. Um, and also important to check the expiry date. Those products do expire and the expiry dates are only about a year, year and a half. So um, they can quickly expire. So checking and if you need a replacement, go to your local pharmacy. You don't need a prescription um, and you can pick some up and just make sure your child always has it accessible if he needs it. Injection complete. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Jeanette Roche.